Near the Colorado ski town of Crested Butte, up a gravel road with snow-capped mountains as a backdrop, Billy Barr goes about his day the way he has for some 45 years now. I got here when I was 21 in 1972, and I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't experienced much. I just like this so much that I stayed. He lives by himself in this remote cabin, keeps plenty of food and wood stock, and grows his own vegetables. He's become extremely self-reliant. Where I live, the weather dominates my life. It was during the harsh winters of the 1970s that Billy began keeping track of the weather and animal sightings. It was mostly just the curiosity is what was going on around me, so I would write down anything I saw. November 73 is when I started. He noted data in great detail in notebooks, high temperatures, low temperatures, snow totals, snow depth. These instruments help with his measurements. This old freezer door serves as a snowboard. The snow that piles up here is collected in this can, which Billy then weighs on this scale to get the water content. That information directly relates to these hummingbirds at David Inouye's property just down the road. Inouye studies the birds and the wildflowers upon which they feed. He says Billy's long-term data has helped document how climate change has affected the flowers and the birds' migration patterns. So we now have a 44-year record of how flowering is changing. There are not many people that have the good luck that we've had to have a a uh, personal weatherman right right here living the same place for decades. And in 81, Billy 80, says weather 80, patterns 80, have changed since he began keeping records. Like All of a sudden, 48% of the record highs have been since 2010, and 47% of the record lows were in the first 10 years that I did it. I'll call him the snow guardian. In the past year, word about Billy's exploits has finally gotten out. Oh, got me on TV. But he's modest about the impact all his work has had. You've got data at the same site in a remote site by the same person in the same location using the same methods. And there's something scientifically that's valuable about that. Billy Barr is 66 years old now. He realizes his daily routine will change eventually. Anything can happen at this point. All I have to do is fall and break a leg and I'm in town for the winter. Until then, he'll keep his eyes on the skies and continue charting the weather that's been so much a part of his unique existence. All I did was record what I saw. Hendrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Gothic, Colorado.